Hey, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praise and all glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and teachers of Great Millstone to rule well and teach well. My name is Brother Yahweh Shai Zion. I'm just coming through with this real quick live lesson through the Spirit. So, um, this is some real breaking news. You know, Vladimir Putin is uh, terminally ill and about to die. Uh, so, you know, this, this is a major thing because. You know, Russia's looking for a successor, and this guy who's 71 years old, well, that's kind of, I don't want to say he's young, but, you know, he battling different uh, conditions and diseases or whatever, so you know he going he gonna to go real soon. You know, dude kind of looked um, off, they said, a couple of months ago. Uh, that's why they said they're in the midst of, you know, obviously this, is, this guy is a major component of the wars and rumors of wars and the end time prophecies in this particular nation um russia is a major player ezekiel 38 you know gog and magog you know that's a major player <laughs> so like your brothers again uh it's getting over something so anyways it says um this is from a chat or whatever it says here about the Telegram channel also claimed that moscow considering <laughs> placing a body double Slakia met Slakia. In the Russian leader's stead to keep Putin's allegedly imminent death a secret from the world amid the ongoing war in Ukraine. Quote, the attending doctors predict Putin's imminent death amid a sharp deterioration in his health. Uh, General SVR reported this week in the inner circle of the Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin, a fuss began with an attempt to create a consensus around the idea of the continuation of the existence of of the Putin regime after Putin it says uh, there is a general understanding that uh, for some time it is possible to use a double of the president after the death or removal from power of the real Vladimir Putin. The channel continued almost all interested parties are ready to rally around a double who can be controlled. So they basically trying to put a guy in there who looks like Putin which is absolute folly, man. That shit is madness, man. Um, so, yeah, so this guy is about to die. You know, he's about to die. And uh, there's some more information that says if Putin were to die in office, the Russian constitution uh, reportedly states that the country's prime minister, which is currently Mikhail uh, Miss Schuston, or how, how the hell you say them weird ass Edomite names, uh, would become acting president for three months. The Kremlin is reportedly scrambling because Putin refuses to leave any instructions regarding his legacy should the 71 year old leader pass away while still in office. So, yeah, this guy's going like kamikaze and shit, basically. He just don't give a shit what's going on, you know, at this point because he's just struggling. So he don't care about none of the world's affairs, you know. So it says Putin himself refused to leave any instructions or covenants on what to do after him, preferring to withdraw into himself and perhaps deciding that the chaos after him is the best legacy. General SR, SVR said, be that as it may, the end will come very soon. <clears throat> the Telegram channel added. Power in Russia in a crisis situation traditionally goes to the one who turns out to be the most daring. Yeah, a leader has to emerge, you know. In any group dynamics um, analyzation, a leader emerges as a leader. And people are born to be leaders. And that's just what it is. But nonetheless, um, it says, as Radar Online Dot com previously reported a top Ukrainian military figure claimed last month that the Kremlin was already utilizing a body double and that the real Putin has not been seen for over a year. Uh, Ukrainian Major General uh, Krylov Bundanov raised doubts about the Russian president's whereabouts in September and even questioned if Putin was alive. Yeah, you never know. Yep. So, here you go. Shit is happening fast, brothers. All right, this is just another little uh, reason why you gotta you gotta be 
you know, in, into these times, man, and know what times we're living in, you know. It's so on to the next one. Just a real quick announcement. I'm going to do another uh, video on something else as well. You know, Shalom.